In this video, I will try to answer one of the questions I get asked the most on Agile and Scrum projects faster and cheaper. First off, where does this come from? If you read the Agile Manifesto or the latest version of a Scrum Guide, the Scrum Guide 2020, the word fast, faster, cheap, cheaper, not mentioned, not even once. So where is this idea coming from? Well, for the past 20 years, consulting companies, which I will not name, <laughs> have been selling the idea of this cheaper and faster agile transformation. Just transform your company, use the agile way of working, and all your problems, poof, everything will be solved. Double the speed, double the productivity, efficiency, cheaper, but Sadly, it's a myth and one of my favorite myths. <laughs> How do you even prove that? That Agile and Scrum projects are cheaper and faster. Cheaper and faster compared to what? Why do you even think that it's possible to prove that Agile and Scrum projects are cheaper and faster compared to another delivery approach? Why do you think it's possible to compare multiple delivery approaches? We are working in a complex environment. Software development is complex and each and every project unique. In order to prove that Agile projects are cheaper and faster, you need to make a fair comparison. Same group of people working on these two different projects, different approaches, but same skills. Exact same group of people with the same skills, same knowledge and same personalities working on the same thing at the same time. <laughs> Are you Dr. Strange? If you're not, well, it's simply impossible to prove. Impossible to prove. And you're setting yourself up for failure if one of your goals is to prove that Agile is cheaper and faster compared to another method. But still, there's a little bit of truth in this myth. However, it's not as simple as saying that uh, doing Project X using Agile or Scrum will be cheaper and faster. It's not as simple as that. The problem is that Agile focuses on the customers, not the stakeholders. This Agile is cheaper and faster mindset is focusing on the wrong things. That's not Agile. That's the traditional project manager mindset delivering what the stakeholders want, not what the customers want. And it's not wrong. It's a good metric. We usually judge the performance of project managers on this metric of it delivering or not what the stakeholders want. But in our context, it's wrong. It's extremely wrong. <laughs> in Agile, the Agile way of thinking, we are viewing the project, the product from the customer's point of view. How can we benefit the customer? How do we know what the customer wants? How do we deliver early to the customer instead of waiting to the end of a project and delivering a huge application? No, small increments, delivering to the customer, getting feedback, improving, delivering again based on experimentation, hypothesis, getting feedback, delivering again, improving until we deliver something super valuable to the customer, how can the team continuously be improving? That's an agile way of working, focusing on value and value to the customer, not value to the stakeholders. All about delivering value to the customer. As an example, the product owner is accountable for optimizing value of a product, ensuring that we are focusing on the right things that will bring value to the customers, that we are not wasting time and money on features that the customers will never use. <laughs> <laughs> and Scrum itself, this iterative approach, incremental approach, ensuring that we release every single sprint, collecting feedback from customers, improving the product and releasing again, goes on and on continuously. This is what agility is all about. Shifting directions quickly because we can feel the market, know what the customers want and as soon as they want, Change, we change direction, we change direction with them. We have this agility when using Scrum. And at the end of the day, what's the use of building something fast, cheap, but that customers don't want? Still, there's definitely a focus on speed here. Most of the things I've mentioned are in some way related to speed. But did you notice the difference? The language is different. Quick, fast, cheaper, faster, not mentioned in the Agile Manifesto or Scrum Guide. But instead, 
early and frequently is mentioned. Instead of waiting for the end, we're working together for one year, two years, and then releasing a huge product, a, a huge software. We don't do that. That's the whole waterfall model, project manager mindset in Agile. Early releases to get feedback. Frequent releases every single sprint. This false belief of cheaper and faster can cause a lot of damage in an organization simply because we are focusing on the wrong things. We are implementing Agile together. But management, the goal of management is faster and cheaper while the goal of a team, of a team's delivering value to the customer. <laughs> Conflict. Management will fix scope. Schedule, set deadlines, cut costs. While the team is experimenting, delivering value every single sprint, getting feedback and delivering value again to the customer, there will be conflict, obviously, because you can't do that if you have a fixed scope. A deadline is set on you. You need to have a self-managed team who can take all these decisions. And this is where the problem lies. Different goals. Same thing. We are implementing the same thing together, but we have way different goals that are not compatible. And to make matters worse, when developers are forced to meet deadlines, work under pressure, software development can be dangerous. Technical debt, let it increase. No one cares. Messy code, no one cares. Business practices, let's ignore the business practices. Automated test scripts, let's not write them. Takes too much time to write. No one will know. And indeed, in the short term, no direct impact on customers and stakeholders but in the long term, huge impact. But what's the goal here? Delivering fast and cheap, so let's do it. Let's ignore all these things. Under pressure, a developer works long hours, less engaged, less happy, but no one cares about that. We only care if this developer starts making errors and they will start making errors because a developer under pressure working too much with the quality will obviously decrease. That's the only reason we care. No one cares about the happiness or engagement of developers. Short-term thinking. <laughs> silos, developers working in silos. Why do developers need to attend the daily scrum or talk with the team? No, oh, developers can work alone. They are more productive alone. Let's, not, let's ignore every member of the team and work alone in silos. Short-term thinking. All these things are caused because management set deadlines because they want faster things and cheaper things. They are not thinking long term. And the customer is paying for that. I know that stakeholders and management, they don't want to hear that. But when Agile and Scrum are used correctly, implemented correctly, we go slower and it's more expensive. Yeah, it's more expensive and it's slower in the short term. All the things that I mentioned, technical debt, writing automation, test scripts, uh, technical excellence, Take time, they take time. Not short-term thinking. This will benefit the company and the customer in the long run. Obviously, it will be more expensive right now. We might delay individual features right now. It won't be faster, it will be slower. But in the long run, it will be better for the customer and the company and for stakeholders and management to accept this, that we can go slower, that it will be more expensive now. It's hard because someone, remember, someone told them to implement Agile. They might have read an article somewhere or a consulting company told them that it will be faster and cheaper right now. Not in 10 years, right now. Obviously, they will want result right now. And this is where it comes becomes messy. <laughs> this is where the conflicts happen because we don't have the same goal. So it's really important that you talk to management and tell them the truth that these consulting companies are lying to them that we will go slower now, but the customers and the company will benefit in the long run. Let us implement this agile thing together. It works. It's proven to work, but it takes time. Trust the teams. And honestly, which other option do you have? Do you want to use the waterfall model that management loves using? Let's try to compare these two. Tell that to management. Would you rather have a software delivered after six months? Six features, six months. You get it after six months. Or... Oh, Agile way of working. You get it after seven months, so one month later. But this time, you also get delivery every single month. 
Every single month you get a feature. The customers can experience the feature every single month. No more waiting for six months to get a big, huge software to use. No, each and every single month, the software can be used by the customer. Which one would you prefer? I hope that you picked the second one. There's so many benefits of early, incremental and continuous delivery instead of this big bang approach. So next time, instead of using fast, cheaper for Agile and Scrum, use small and early compared to the waterfall model, which is big and late. Which brings me to my next point. If you want more tips, insights on Agile, Scrum, personal growth, click on the video that stands out the most on the screen right now. And I'll see you in a few seconds.